Good morning everyone! Today is a interesting day here in Tokyo. It's actually a like typhoon slash thunderstorm today because there was a typhoon going past Japan so we're kind of getting like the tail end of it type situation now. Uh, yesterday it was really really windy so it kind of blew everything in. Now it's a torrential downpour out there with thunder and lightning. Did you guys hear it? <laughs> so yeah, I am sore today. Like areas I never get sore when I work out. So my shoulders along the back, my back, and my arms, like especially my forearms, like yeah, my forearms entirely more or less. My legs are okay. Cause for some reason I have really strong legs even though I don't really I don't do much and yes my hands too oh my gosh they're like calloused in areas so if any of you guys are looking for like a really fun type of full body workout definitely try rock climbing um, what we did yesterday was bouldering it wasn't necessarily um, rock climbing where you need gear it's all freestyle so you can do it and it's safe and it's fun and all that good stuff uh, today, however, is a working day for me. I have to get some work done, so I'm just going to be doing that and uploading yesterday's vlog for you guys and editing my morning routine video that's going to be going on my beauty channel. In that routine, I'm going to be talking about my current skincare routine that I do every morning for summer and for people with oily skin, it's really good. So um, definitely check that out on my second channel if you haven't seen it. Well, actually, it's my first channel, technically. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to have my morning cup of coffee. To be honest, you guys, I always miss showing you, because I don't actually drink coffee first thing in the morning, but I always start my vlogs with coffee, hence the reason I got this shirt yesterday, Give Me Coffee. But I actually start my mornings with lemon water. Um, so I get a glass of this and I pound it because um, it's really good to like wake up your system and boost your immune system and kind of like speed up your metabolism, all that good stuff. So if you're someone like me who has a slow metabolism and a weak immune system, then try starting with lemon water every morning. If you have it warmer hot, that's even better. And just drink that. Chugging it actually is better for your colon. So if you have a lot of colon problems, <laughs> getting personal, then try chugging water first thing in the morning. That kind of forces the water into your colon so it helps get things moving. So I recommend that also. I'm just like a pack of knowledge for you guys. Okay guys, so it is lunchtime now and I wanted to make breakfast slash lunch because I haven't had my breakfast yet. So today I'm going to be making kimbap. It's a little bit different from like an original style kimbap since I don't have a pork cutlet or anything else. There's so many different variations of kimbap that, you know, there's no exact right way to do it. So the thing that's different today is that I'm using a sushi roll maker that I got from Daiso. So essentially you just stick everything in here, compress it, then roll it onto this nori sheet and you're good. Anyway, these are all the ingredients I'm going to be using today. So here I have a mixture of white rice and quinoa, about half and half pre-made that I defrosted from my freezer. Then I have my proteins which is a vegetable, well I guess this isn't protein, this is a vegetable croquette, just one cut into threes. Then I have an inari sliced up, which is pre-seasoned tofu pocket. It's slightly sweet and salty. Then I have one square cheese cut up. Then for my vegetables, I'm using the basics, which is kimchi, which is something you should always have in your kimbap, as well as pickled sweet pickled radish you know it's sweet pickled radish when it's yellow and then instead of perilla leaves which is an important 
ingredient in kimbap. I'm using defrosted wilted spinach uh, because I couldn't find any perilla leaves in my local supermarkets. So instead I'm using spinach. And then, like I said before, I have my nori sheet. So I'm just going to hop right into it and start making it. Uh, please keep in mind, <laughs> I've never actually done this before, so I'm just kind of going with the flow here. So I'm just doing what the guide said and pressing my rice into here. Ooh, actually, I don't feel like I have enough rice all of a sudden. Uh-oh. Guess we're just truly going with the flow today. My bad. I don't really want it to be that fat with rice anyway, to be honest. Um, of course, if you're making this, please make more rice than I did. But I didn't feel like making more. So I'm hungry now. Okay, so now we're just going to fill it. Starting with some spinach. Then I'm going to use this. Oh, kimchi! Yes, smells so good. As per usual guys, if you haven't noticed, I'm not really going by measurements. I'm just adding as I go. So, just do however you want. If you guys have a Daiso near you, then it would be sweet if they had this sushi press in it. That would be convenient. Ooh, this might be too thick. That's okay. You can only fit two of those in there, but that's okay. And then going in with the cheese. You don't have to add cheese if you're lactose intolerant like me, but usually I doesn't hurt me too much to just have like one square cheese. No biggie. I feel like it would be easier to use my hands for this part. This is like the lowest carbohydrate kimbap in the world. That's okay. I tried you guys, I tried. I'm not really a big rice eater. How, more than half the time at restaurants I never finish my rice. Oh no, it's sticking. No, don't stick. Okay, now I'm supposed to compress it. Oh no, there's not enough rice. Oh, I see. Ooh, it worked. Okay, now for the tricky part where I could totally mess this up. Uh oh, I already messed it up. No! I'm sure it would be easier if I like folded it like this. Like pre stuck it. And then, yeah. Oh god, please don't, don't fuck up. Ah, we're doing good, we're doing go fast. Don't spill. Mm. Oh, I'm losing my rice at the ends. Oh god. Yes, it smells like kimbap. Okay, I did it! I did it! Oh, yay! Okay, so now... Oh wait, I was supposed to wet this part. You're supposed to wet this side of the kim so that it sticks and keeps it sealed. And then you're supposed to cut the kimbap. Let's see if I do this right also. My knife is wet. There's a kind of cafeteria style restaurant in Korea that I would go to quite often for lunch at work and 
I can't remember the exact name of the restaurant because my co-workers and friends would always call it Kimbap Jungkook, which means Kimbap Heaven. And basically they have this crazy like selection of different Kimbaps. And my favorite one there was Donkatsu Kimbap, which is like fried pork cutlet Kimbap or cheese Kimbap. It was so good. And there we have it. That is my take, first attempt to take on Donkatsu Kimbap with a vegetable croquette instead of a cutlet, pork cutlet. It smells divine. Now, essentially, the right way to eat kimbap is to have it with instant ramen, like shin ramen or any kind of instant ramen of your choice, but that is bringing it to a whole other level of unhealthy, so eating just kimbap is totally good enough. So I'm going to eat this and enjoy it for my lunch while I finish editing today's vlog. Okay guys, moment of truth, let's try the first bite. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. Oh my crap. I think I definitely would prefer it with the regular style pork cutlet and with a little more kimchi. But holy crap, that's delicious. I'm going to add these leftover kimchis, one each to each um, kimbap roll, but oh god, that's so good. Ah, I love kimbap so much. Kimbap, if you haven't noticed, is basically Korean style sushi, like roll sushi, only without the raw fish. However, you can get some with fish in it, but what makes it kimbap, I think, is more so the pickled radish in there and the kimchi. Itadakimasu. You guys, that was so good, but I couldn't finish. That's as much as I could eat. But I think I prefer it with this much rice. But to be honest, I think I would skip the cheese. I Like, that was the only part that I would notice in the kimbap and be like, bleh, bleh. But if you're a cheese fan, then go for it. But over the years, I've kind of grown to not really like it that much. Alrighty, so I'm just going to work on this vlog more and have another cup of coffee with almond milk in it. I just tried on my new sports bra, so I guess now I'm dedicated to doing a workout. I love it though, it's so cute. I don't know how practical it is, it feels more like a bikini top than a sports bra. Well, comfort wise, it definitely doesn't feel like a bikini top, but like design wise, certainly bikini style. It's a bit loose here, but that's okay. Uh, that's the problem with me. Like, I don't like buying North American pants because they're always way too long and I crinkles and I have to roll them up and it just doesn't look nice. So usually I like to buy like my pants from G Market or like Asian brands because they tend to fit my height better. But I love the style of these. Really cute. Super cute, super comfy. Maybe I'll try jumping rope inside today. I just went outside really quick because a pretty interesting Pokemon appeared right outside our house, so I had to get it since it's something I don't have yet. And it was, dun 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 Oh God, can you see? It was a Graveler! I've been trying to save up my, what's it called, the one before it? The one with the arms? Geodudes. I've been trying to save up my Geodudes so that I could evolve them, but it's been taking me forever. So, I just went out and grabbed it. But the downside is that it was only like CP55. Um, but now I have enough candies to evolve, I think. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to do it with you guys. Are you ready? 
I'm going to trade that Graveler out because it's so weak. And then I'm going to evolve. So this one's actually pretty strong with a CP of 467, which is totally better than 55. So now when I evolve it, it's probably going to be way stronger. <laughs> At least I hope. Yay, so now I've had two officially. Let's see how strong it is. Please be strong. Oh, it didn't really bump up that much, only 700. Oh well, so now I only have one candy. So I'm gonna have to save up 100. Oh, it's gonna be so hard. Rock Pokemon are not at all common in my area. So that kind of sucks. I just made a bunch of quinoa, yay! I don't know what to do with it though for dinner, but I made it. Hmm, maybe I'll turn it into like a quinoa salad. Maybe similar to pasta salad, just without the pasta. This company messaged me that runs the app called Hello Talk, and they wanted me to do like a sponsored review for free um, for them, but I wasn't. I'm not really interested in doing like free sponsorships because I feel like it's a waste of everyone's time. So I wanted to check it out anyway because I was curious because I like I need Japanese friends who I can like practice on and stuff like that. So I figured, oh yeah, I'd check it out and see if it's any good. <laughs> but so far it looks like it's just a bunch of men and I don't know. It feels like they're all kind of looking for romance with foreigners. Or something that's the impression I got so far I have 78 unread messages and only three of those messages are from girls so and I didn't even use my like whole face in the display picture and it's really far away so all you can see is like this part of my eye <laughs> pretty much from like far away so I don't know how I feel about that if you're a girl who wants to use this app for legitimate reasons like actually learning Japanese and practicing I would probably suggest not using a real picture of yourself and just using a character and I don't know I guess no matter what you're gonna get people looking for romance in these kind of apps but um, I don't know the whole point of it is for like logical and like good intentions I don't know I mean, it's a good concept, but I guess you can't control the type of people that go on there. So, I'm going to try to make some girlfriends on here who are, maybe live close by and I can eventually meet up with and practice Japanese with, but otherwise, I'm going to be ignoring the 75 men who have messaged to me. Oh, God. No. I'm not looking for romance. <laughs> Anyway, that was the interesting thing that's been happening since last night. But it's time for me to eat dinner. I didn't really know what to make. I, I don't know. Like, my ideas for creating delicious foods was spent on making that kimbap earlier, which I totally forgot I had to finish. So this is what I'm going to be having for dinner tonight. So with that quinoa I boiled, I mixed it with those instant beans that I featured in my uh, vlog a few videos ago. And I mixed it half beans, half quinoa, and stuffed it in the Inari pockets, which I uh, used one of previously in the kimbap. Then I have the two remaining pieces of kimbap, the remainder of the spinach, the random remainder of the um, pickled radish. And then over here I have two pieces of pumpkin because they're high in potassium and really good for you. Really good for you. And then I have one of those pre-made um, chicken breasts with sriracha sauce all over it. And the chicken breast is just a steamed one so there's no oil or any seasoning on it other than the sriracha sauce I put on. So yeah, that's what I am going to be having for my dinner tonight. I'm not too sure if I can eat it all though because the kimbap is surprisingly very, very filling. And usually I like to leave room for dessert, which ends up being like a bowl of cereal. Okay, everyone, it is 9, 10 p.m. Oh, you see my conversations. 
anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here tonight because I know for a fact I'm not going to be doing anything else for the rest of tonight. Um, just got the vlog uploaded for this evening so you guys can watch yesterday's fun rock climbing. And I am having my fancy dessert, which is... <laughs> It's granola in the tub of yogurt because I didn't want to dirty a bowl when it's obviously the last bit of yogurt in the tub. You know, why would I dirty in a bowl? I don't know. So yeah, I'm just eating my granola out of that. It's going to be delicious. And while I eat that, I'm going to watch an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians because it's mindless and I don't have to think. Then I think after that, I'm going to try to study a little bit of Japanese try to. I'm pretty bad at doing stuff like that. And then probably relax for the rest of the night and maybe read then fall asleep. Kim come home bleh. Kim comes home from Okinawa tonight. Um, she should be home soon. But she says she's so tired so I'm just gonna let her relax. She doesn't have to tell me stories. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Sorry I didn't get up to much today. It was one of those working days where I gotta stay in and get stuff done. Uh, if you like my daily type of vlogs, then let me know in the comment section down below. And let me know if you guys try that kimbap recipe out, or if you ever try making kimbap. Let me know how it goes. Anyways, make sure to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Like, start from like hanging? Why? I don't know. You're doing something? <laughs> <laughs>